I introduced Prince to different dogs to see how he responds. So he's a little fearful, but that's okay. He can get over that. He needs that kind of behavior to take place. He's in survival mode right now. Notice that the tail went up as the dog walked away. We'll see what Flash thinks about him. Flash was originally the smallest guy here, and now he's the biggest. But this little guy, anyway. So Flash walks away from him. So we continue bringing dogs out. Take this little guy. Now, he's much more interested in me than the other dogs, and that's, that's normal. They're very much interested in him. Come on, buddy. 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 There we go. Yeah, he wants to see me. <laughs> what do you think, Flash? Now, if you notice, his tail is not down, so he's not showing fear, which is great. He feels somewhat balanced, confident with the other dogs. And that's exactly what I was looking for. I was hoping that it would not be down, and it's not. It's going on there. So it just takes him a minute to, uh, to wind down and, and feel comfortable in the presence of these guys. And really all he needs is the, the interaction with other dogs, going to dog parks, meeting dogs out when he's with his owner, going to new and different places that's going to open up his mind so that he has to spread out his thoughts and not focus on one dog or one person. That's what he needs because he's a very intelligent, very smart dog. Bring him inside. Right? Now I'm going to instruct with a dog like this for them never to reach down, at least for the next two weeks or so, to pick him up. Always have a leash on him. And then that way, when you put the leash on him, his mind goes forward. And he'll come to you. Or should I say, come with you. 